Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca and I'm here because I want to help you to become the best guitar player you can ever be. In this video here we're going to be talking about how to improvise over a minor, minor blues. Most videos here I've done until now, it's just about major blues. This is a minor blues, okay? And you're going to see how different it is. It sounds already different, right? Although the form, it's very similar. Um, because it's a minor progression, minor key, our approach to playing, to soloing, we're going to have to be very careful. And um, we can add a few notes, the same way we do for the major, but not the same notes. And I'll show you here why. Just before we jump in to this lesson here, I want to invite you to watch my free workshop I prepared for you called the five simple steps to transform your blues playing using the knowledge that you are already know you know I already have I get you from where you are to playing over the blues to the next level and doing a lot of what the pros do <clears throat> when it comes to improvising soloing over the blues and those five steps can transform for real like get you to an amazing level of guitar soloing so just click down below and I'll send it to your email and you can watch right now. Um, okay, so just let me zoom in here. This blues here, by the way, it's in the A minor. I'm gonna go over the chords, but A minor, so A minor pentatonic. And there are a few things we're gonna do that are very interesting, that are very good, very, you know, um, you're gonna be applying that today to have totally different sounding than just the, the pentatonic. Okay, let's zoom in. All right, that blues is in the key of A. Something like that, right? Then it goes to B mi uh, B D minor, which is the fourth. Back to E, uh, to A. And then E minor, all seven. D minor 7 and A minor, which is the first one. And then the last one is an E dominant 7, which is a fun one, right? Doesn't really belong there, but sounds so good. I mean, that's the dominant to prepare to go back to the, to the root, right? Back to D, back to A, then D. A, E minor, D minor, A minor, E dominant, very quickly. All right, so what we do here, A minor, good and old, right? You can use this and be so creative with that and do so much by using this, using this shape here. Where the root is on the A string and you have this chord here right so where the root is here is one four one three one three one three one four one four where the root is on the A string is one four one three one three two four one four right and then over the over the E and D for now we're just gonna keep on going over these pentaton uh, these two shapes and you can do all the extension of the pentatonic right I just give you these two to start with but you can always add the other ones but please uh, don't do just what I'm doing go beyond right uh, what I'm telling you here, but this is a good starting point where you have the root on E string and A string From here you can add the blues note So that will give you a very bluesy tone to it, right? Very bluesy phrasing Right? Same here While we do in the major blues, we add the note of the chord, right? So we do. 
but here we're not gonna add that because that note is not present anywhere. So it will not sound good if you're like B A minor. It will sound bad. Okay, don't do it. Don't add that, neither here. Oh. It doesn't sound good. What you can do though, is kind of refer to it. In a way they're like a micro bend on the, ma on the third here. So if you're doing, just make detune that note. Then. Don't make it major, just a quarter, right? And you see, gonna I, I put the back in track there. That will make sense. And actually, let me put it right now, and we can go over it. Okay, that's a pretty cool back in track, right? Pentatonic. This pentatonic here. to the original one here. Oh, the extensions. All the five, right? Blues note. There you go. Refer to the major third. Right? Just a little detuned on the minor third. All here. Now the major. That sounds bad, right? But the. Just a reference to it. So micro band. Right? Well, there we go. You can do so much with only these two. Just bluesy, very, very bluesy. You see that? Right? Just a little bit. So good. All right. Now, they can add the notes of the, ma the minor scale. Here's the pentatonic with the blues. I'm gonna add on the B string my finger too. That's part of the minor scale. You're gonna see that it matches very well with the D minor chord because that's the minor third of them on the chord, right? Always back to the bluesy, right? And if I add my ringer, ring finger, <laughs> ringer finger on the E string, where I have this, that's the second. So B string, one, two, four, E string, one, three, four. All right, that can repeat in many different ways. Like you can do one, two, four on the top string, one, three, four. Wherever you have A, you do that. Sounds amazing. And I like to change my 
pick here, make hip pick up. Just because it gives a different tone and to this different approach, right? Here on the G string, that's also the same as here, right? different feel to it, right? Want to sound bluesy again? Just go back to the pentatonic with the blues note. Now I'm going to do the minor pentatonic of each chord. So A minor, A minor pentatonic. Pentatonic, the minor. Back to A. E minor. D. A. So I playing with a chord change, right? improvise it. of a major minor scale, A minor. Not bluesy at all, but still beautiful, right? Very nice. So you see how cool it is when you take turns between the, the, those two ideas, the minor pentatonic and the minor scale, just by adding those notes, right? Of course, it will take a little time for you to get familiar with the, where the notes are and all different shapes, but it's totally worth it. Spend your time uh, fishing for those notes, looking for those notes within the pentatonics. And that's why I start with the pentatonic, because it's always easier. Everybody knows that one. So it's easier for you to grasp that understanding and start playing right away, right? But it's so cool. So many music, uh, musical ideas you can have in uh, like just taking turns in, in between the minor and the minor pentatonic with the blues notes. Just referring to the major third, make it that minor third a little twangy. It's just so cool, so good. So that's my approach for the minor blues soloing. Make it bluesy. Don't make it bluesy. Make it more jazzy. You can do like different things that we've done an approach today in terms of outside skills and arpeggios and things like that, right? But keeping it simple, it's always a good idea as well. 
pentatonic for the blues, referring to that major third, and over the chords, chord changes, right? You can go and follow the chord changes as well. Very cool, very awesome. I hope you can, you can apply that to your playing and get the minor backing track there, blues backing track, and have fun. Apply this to your playing. Don't get to the knowledge only, you have to play it, right? If you got it, so now you play it, go for it. Hope this is helpful, hope to see you in the next lesson. Don't forget to watch that uh, uh, workshop I prepared for you, just the link below. That will get you to the next level, 100%. And again, thank you so much. Hope to see you in the next video. See you then.